Hi guys, this is part two and I just actually did it and I've just gone over to have a look and see how it turned out, uh, the video, and what a plonker I am. I didn't turn my mic on did I, because my husband came home and I switched it off so that, um, just in case I was recording and I hadn't switched it off, and basically I've got to switch the bloody thing back on. Anyway, so just to catch up on what I've already said, which I will be putting it this part in part two, I've done the roof and I lifted it up, moved it all up. So as you can see, it's all up. You've got the rails up here as well. I've made the floor, oops. I've uh, put the floor to the level I want it, as you can see. I've also added the base floor here to the house okay um, uh, this ladder isn't going to be permanently here but you can see that um, uh, anybody can fairly get in here they won't need to crouch or anything like that um, I'm a medium sized character so um, basically um, uh, yeah, um, anybody can bring it in any size. So what I've done now is I've got the impacted metal. Um, let's have a look what we've got. A square window frame in tall in a tall divider, which is this one here. And I've also got. Let's have a look. Narrow uh, divider of impacted metal and. Um, a horizontal window frame in tall divider of impacted metal and what I've done is I made them all of these this size and I've placed them inside here and I've literally just sh all I've done is shrunk them down to fit the walls so that the you can't see nothing on the top and it's all literally shrunk into the um, um, what do you want to call it indium block of indium tile um, squ square block thing so basically what that is that, that just gives you the window so if you look at the picture in the left hand side in the left um, hand corner of the screen you'll see that the, I've tried to recreate um, basically I've tried to recreate the picture the window in the bottom and the window in the front of the of the house, um, obviously with it being as big as it is, um, I've had to put extra bit of wall in the sides. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to continue to add the windows and the, the walls along the bottom, um, all the way around. Uh, you you don't really want to watch me do that, I don't think. Otherwise, it's just going to be forever. So it's a long thing. I'm going to show you what I've done. Just one of them. So what I do is I take this tile. This is a tall impacted metal. Uh, tall divider of impacted metal, and I will make it the same size as this, and I will place it along the side. Here, um, just show you where I'm doing the. Oops, oops. If I move this that way, right. Just show you where I'm placing it, so you get a rough idea. And then I will carry on and finish off the um, bottom of the house. And then when I come back from the bottom, from once I've done the bottom of the house. Um, you uh, will go upstairs and I'll show you how I do the upstairs which will be probably more or less exactly the same as how I do the bottom but what I'm doing is I'm just making it so it fits the wall and I am doing it so it's got at least one square here if you can see this bit here so oops so it basically gives it sort of a, a lip um, all the way around if you can see. So that's what I'm going to do all the way around. I'm going to come to here 
and then go across here um, and carry on all the way around and then to put the shell on the outside and then uh, so yeah that's what I'm going to do um, and then what I do after I've uh, put it where I want it I just lower it down so it just goes underneath the the, the floor so you can't see it and there you go Bob Shunkle punish your arm and also just to let you know the lip on the side of it the walls to the upstairs will be coming to the edge of it but this is um, this is how um, I've forgotten how what they called it now um, but this is how the old fashioned cottages and medieval houses were built so it overhung so you had just a bit more room on the top floors um, I'll, I'll have a look and see what it says I, I had heard what it was called actually but I can't remember now what, <laughs> off the top of my head but they used to build it like that so that the it, because you didn't have as much ground space from what I what I've read and what I, I've heard on the History Channel, you didn't have a lot of ground space. So what they done is they made the the ground smaller and then they built outwards. So you had the lip outwards on the houses, all the way around. So it gives you a bit more floor space, you know, around the top bits. And if it was a third story, a bit a bit bigger, so it sort of stepped outwards. And that's how, in the old days, in York and things like that, the houses used to join each other. At the top, you could shake hands outside the windows. At the bottom, you couldn't, but, like, at the top, you could literally, basically, ha hang out your window and shake your neighbour's hand, sort of thing, and what have you. So that's what they used to do in the old days. Um, but I will find out what it's called, and I will let you know. Anyway, uh, I will crack on, and I will see you when I have finished the entire ground floor shell and then I will take you upstairs and do the top floor right okay guys I have done the downstairs shell of the house the wall anyway so I should just take you round it to have a look I've decided to add a back door because what I might do here is just a small like herb garden um, you know, pumpkins and what have you is, is a witch's hat, a witch's house after all. I can't see around the, um, don't know if we got it there, it's all derelicty kind of thing with woods and stuff, but witches usually have, I would assume, some sort of herby garden, so we'll do a bit of herby garden here, but then maybe, I don't know. Gravy, graveyardy bit here or something. Uh, so I've got a door there and I've got a few windows, not a lot. I'm mainly concentrating on the windows that I can see. So there you go, that's the bottom part of it done. And the roof. A uh, shortfall, I don't have a square window like in that picture. So I'm just going to put whatever window I can there. I need to put a chimney here, so I need to put a, a fire in here somehow. Okay, so we now got to go upstairs and have a look at what we need to do here. So the picture is showing we've got a long window, single window on the top right and we've got a mm, square window on the top left so we've got a square window on the top left I shall put that there and we want a long window now And we've got a long window to put here. If that's right, let's just have another look. Yeah. So if you look, actually the roof is actually um, slightly overhanging again. And the overhang, I have actually looked it up, it's called a jetty. They're called jettying. So when it overhangs, it's literally called jettying. But 
I'm not going to overhang this this um, um, the, the the roof on this one. Um, otherwise, it's just going to make everything all um, higgledy piggledy. But um, I'm going to try and make it so that the windows are actually closer to the ceiling. If you look, than the floor. So let's uh, see what I can actually do with with this. So now what we've got is we roughly by the looks of it got the same size walls upstairs so that's cool I managed to do that okay-ish so now where is that window on the house it seems to be above this this part here so it's not right on the edge so it's more here isn't it so this is where I will be putting the window, uh, the window here, and I will, whoopsie daisy, whoops. I will be putting it on the edge here, pushing it back so it, it fits in there nice and snug as a bug. So all of the windows, uh, this one, let's have a look, just have a look. Um, I've got it in the rough place where I want it. That's kind of a that goes basically over the same one so let's have a look so that kind of goes over that one doesn't it there so we're gonna do this one here sort of here I'm gonna move it back slightly so it, it all tucks in nicely and <coughs> excuse me what I'm going to do is I'm going to complete the top floor and then when I've done that I will be putting all of the braces on the outside oh do excuse me so all the braces that you see in the old-fashioned houses like the woodwork that goes on the corners and diagonally um, framing the windows that will be the next part in the next part I do so I will come back when I have literally put all of the walls in at the top here on the outside no walls on the inside I haven't decided what I'm going to do there as yet but I want to concentrate on the outside first um, and then faff about with the inside because I've also got a water wheel to put here and I'm gonna make a stream come sort of around here as well I've got the stuff for it here so I've got a little streamy thing there. So that's what I intend on doing. Um, so yeah, okay. I will get on with what I'm doing. And I will see you back here when I've done it. Okay. I'm back. And I have completed... Oops. Poop. I've completed the, the shell of the house walls upstairs walls okay so we've now just got the shell on the outside I need to put some beams holding the roof up because um, in the movie it's actually turned into a museum the bottom bit so I'm gonna try and keep to what the movie uh, house looks like on the inside but you don't actually get to see an upstairs so I'm going to turn the upstairs into like sleeping quarters and uh, what have you so what I will do is I'm going to put beams here I'm going to turn this into a bedroom and then this into a bedroom with the door here and another sort of bedroom because there's three sisters isn't there and then like a bathroom or what have you so it's, you've got to remember it's all sort of oldie worldy as well so <coughs> it's not going to be overly over the top I'm going to have a fireplace here perhaps a living area here and a seating area or something but down here um, beams all the way along maybe a bit of wall in between a couple of the beams 
or doorway or something um, because in the middle in 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 the the film there's a, a cauldron here and if I remember rightly like there's no middle bit here I don't think if I, if I, I don't think there's a middle bit here it's just basically around so um, I mean I might even just take that out this bit out I'm not sure yet I'll have a I'll have a look and think about it um, I'll put some columns of wood here just to take that take that in maybe uh, uh, Cases and what have you to make it look like the um, museum -y area with the black flame candle and what have you and out here a bit of a garden trees and what have you um, and the lake with the water wheel as you can see it on the um, picture uh, take it out here with some trees and what have you and some pumpkins and skeleton pumpkins and Halloweeny type things and all that malarkey but tomorrow because now it is uh, late I'm going to um, put all the beading on here and around the windows so that's going to take me a while to do uh, here to make it give it that look that it's in the picture that you can see here uh, oops I keep doing that so that's going to be all the way around top and bottom and I will put in the if I have time tomorrow I will put in the um, water wheel and what have you and then I will figure out where I'm going to put the fireplace so I might just put that so it's in the middle of the house you know like um, fire chimney here or something so that it goes into that room and perhaps into that room and then maybe I don't know maybe put another one here and here so it looks like it's uh, warming up the upstairs kind of thing if you know what I mean I know what I mean so yeah um, perhaps I'll put a fire here which will then sort of mingle in with that one up there so that's what I'm going to do anyway this is the walls done so this is part two completed um, so part three will be putting all the beading on and adding window panes and the wood into the windows to give it that um, oldie worldy look so I should do that tomorrow right okay so I shall see you all later ta-da for now bye